Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Another day, another upgrade pack on EAFC 24. This time, a player pick though, and some confusion with the year in review player pick that was dropped yesterday. It says icons are a part of it, but should all icons be a part of it? That's the question right now in this game. There's a lot of confusion as to whether there's going to be compensation in coming or if this player pick pack is giving out what was directly said in the description. We're going to talk about that today and how that player pick was really the biggest piece of content yesterday with the other SBCs not being that hot. But could that turn around today with an English legend being released today as an SBC? Will he impact the market big time? Will we get more Evos, right? Yesterday, no Evos. Today, will that change? We'll talk about it on more in today's video. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Let's get on with yesterday's content to start off with. We're going to go for the player SBC. And it honestly was disappointing. I've had high hopes two days in a row now. Maybe I need to lower my expectations because not every SBC can be amazing. That's just how the cookie crumbles. But Kevin and Babu yesterday, he did get a great playstyle plus upgrade with Jockey Plus. But 89 pace just doesn't quite cut it. Four star, four star is nice. It's also the dribbling stats on the card. If you look at his defending, it's okay. Physical, it is okay. He needed more pace and he needed better dribbling to be completely honest. But the playstyle plus is good. It's not a bad SBC, guys. It's just not quite good enough is probably the best way to say it. It's coming in right around 90,000 coins, but I think a lot of people's expectations, like mine, were higher. And this is a card that doesn't fit into teams very easily, so if you're going to get it done, you're going to do it. It's got to be a really insane card or a really, really insane price. And it's really neither of those. But again, it is not that difficult to get done. There's two squads, 83 with the team of the week and an 85. So if you want to get it done for the good old FIFA vibes of old, this guy's a FIFA legend for sure. You can go ahead and do that one. Now let's get straight to it. Let's talk about that upgrade player pick that came out yesterday because this was the only other piece of content that dropped. It is the year in review player pick, right? I've done it. I got a decent pull from it. I got 88 Vanden Boomen, the FC Pro live card. But this player pick... Yeah, it always contains in the past that this player pick has always been SBC or objective players from like the last month or the last couple months in this game, right? That is what we have always known as a year in review player pick. But if you look at the description of this specific year, year in review player pick, it says earn one of three base icons or campaign players that were released through SBCs and Ultimate Team 24 in November. No campaign heroes and no campaign icons. And that is where it's got people really questioning. And is this a situation where it's giving out the wrong stuff? Because people are getting packs and player picks like this. Ali Krieger, who is an SBC. Alan St. Maximin, SBC during November, right? Black Friday Flash SBC. And then R9 and other icons that technically weren't released as SBCs during the month of November. It's all about the technicality of the wording, guys. And EA messes up with the wording all the time, and that is where this problem lies within. Again, the, the wording says, earn one of three base icons or campaign players that were released through SBCs. So you can either base that together and put that together and say, base icons or campaign players that were released through SBCs. Or you can look at it separately and say, earn one of three base icons or any campaign players that release via SBCs, right? So a lot of people were thinking, okay, what icons should be in this player pick? Maybe Schmeichel, Lam, Stoichkov, because we had those as icon player SBCs during the month of November, right? John Barnes would be a part of that as well. They were not special versions. They were just the regular versions of their base icon cards. But technically, the way that that reads, and again, the real issue here is that EA worded it in a way that is confusing, okay? Guys, like... The issue here is with the wording. That's what it is. We've had problems with this before. EA has messed up with the wording in this. But to me, it reads, earn one of three base icons or, right, there's like a cutoff there. And it's it's a base icon or you're getting a campaign player. So it's like an icon player pick and a campaign year in review player pick combined. It's confusing. I know EA should word it in a different way. I don't know what they should word it as, but I know they should word it in a different way so that it is not so confusing. But guys, I do not expect there to be compensation. If there was going to be compensation for this player pick, number one, EA probably would have already tweeted about it because when player picks and packs like that get messed up with the wrong stuff in packs, 
Usually it's within a handful of hours, two, three, four, five hours before the EAFC direct communication tweets about it. And then it's okay. You know, there's a plan in place here where they take the SBC away, especially for an SBC like this. There's been errors before and they fix it in at least a couple of hours. Now I know it's kind of the holiday times. Maybe there's less people working vacation off of work stuff like that i get it but guys with the way that that reads and what is coming out of those player picks i think ea meant for all base icons to be in that player pick and along alongside of the year in review cards that we normally see in those sort of player picks so if you got an icon yesterday consider yourself kind of lucky I opened mine and again, I got Vanden Boomin 88, which is actually a sick card and I'm happy for it. But uh, the people that got icons, I would consider pretty lucky because we opened a bunch of them. That video is in the second channel. I'll post it above if you want to check it out there or at the end of the video, I'll post a link there as well. Um, they're decent, right? For 100,000 coins to the value of the SBC, yeah, it's like, okay, you can get icons from this or you could get like some SBC player who is absolutely terrible, right? There's a lot of L's in this player pick for sure, but it is only two squads and it is pretty easy to get done. So it's a nice craft, especially with the 83 times 10, all the fodder and objectives. I think it's a decent SBC. A lot of people agree with that, 58% upvoted. It's kind of one of those, it's like, yeah, it's a gamble, but, you know, people packing Pushkas, people packing Pele, guy in the chat yesterday packed Zico, right? You know, it happens. So that SBC is being done by a lot of people. And here's one reason you can tell always with the fodder, we know this, right? There's an inform requirement, right? This is, informs are really a uh, nice... I guess barometer of how much SBCs are being completed, especially when a new SBC comes out and they're being required. Informs yesterday went up from 32, 33,000 coins to about 39K. In my opinion, that's probably their max price for the week. If you have these, I would maybe kind of try to get them out because that is another really insane rise for informs in a one day period because of a one gamble pack SBC. I don't think any of the other SBCs that we've had are refreshing in the next day or even two days. I think it's maybe to Friday before we get like the icon player pick refresh. Don't quote me on that. I have to do a little bit more research and figure that out. Uh, but I didn't do the icon upgrade myself so that the countdown timer doesn't show for me. That's the worst part about not doing the gamble SBCs because I'm doing Hullet right now and crafting that instead. Um, but I don't think that informs would continue to go up that much throughout the rest of the week, especially with the new team of the week coming out today. More lightning rounds for sure. They might be impacted a little bit by that. Now, the one thing I will check really quick is when does the team of the week player pick go away? Okay, that's out until Friday as well. All right, GGCA, that's out for a while. We love that. We need that. Now, one part of the fodder market that did move, specifically because of that player pick, was 84s and 85s. We had some fodder move. GG's EA. GG's if you invested in 84s or if you were buying them for like 1.5K on bid, literally on any time over the weekend, or 85s if you were buying those for like 4.5K on bid, low 4K range. These cards are all going up in price because of that SBC yesterday, because there's a lot of hype there, right? Everybody loves the year interview player pick because they're cheap, and especially since EA threw icons in, you can see, right? 4.2K for this card, Trippier, going from 4.2K all the way now to 5.5. These cards are really starting to fly. They probably go a little bit higher today in the content. I would probably sell if you have these in your your club or if you've been lazy listing those i think i would sell those before content today on wednesday because i would expect to see more lightning rounds from that today so that's kind of all the content yesterday and some of the market movements that we saw uh, but let's talk more about the market a little bit right yesterday we talked about the market hopefully rising a bit and really the market yesterday was still kind of scared is how it felt like yes some cards did go up some cards went down and get at content kind of the daily trend is you get a dip right after content even if the content like yesterday was decent but not that insane you get a little bit of a dip and then you get some price rises the next day right you have an opportunity to buy then you have a little bit of a bounce back into the late night and in the next day before the next day of content you have some decent rises, right? I saw that on a couple of cards yesterday. I didn't buy too much, but I did pick up a Paul Scholes, a couple Paul Scholes at like uh, 67,000 coins, up to like 75K. I still have another one. I picked up a Ledley King for like 51K. I think I can maybe sell this for like 60,000 coins or 59,000 coins. It's a small flip, but again, that's the part of the market that I'm trying to watch right now um, in, in the most. You know, other prices on some top tier cards yesterday even did really well. Edgar Militao dropped off a crazy amount. He was down at 640, 650,000 coins on the stream. And I was telling people specifically like, yo, if you see this card at 640 and under, 
I think it's a really good buy for the day. I don't know where he goes from beyond this point, but that seems really low. And he's back up to 700,000 coins. Another one that I would shout specifically is Gabriel Jesus. Gabriel Jesus' card with a lot of the Arsenal links right now on the SBCs, he was down to 120,000 coins and he's right now 140K. He was like 125, but now he's 140, right? You're having those price fluctuations, not everywhere, but in some pretty, I don't know, meta, popular, lower budget price cards on the market in those areas, that's where you're seeing some of those good fluctuations. But guys, I would stick to the quick flips, honestly, if I were you, uh, just because we didn't have a day yesterday where we had an evolution that was dropped and all the evos that we've been having recently have been absolutely insane so there was no panic selling because of a new paid evo or panic selling because of an evo that was dropping cards out or people people were selling cards because they're doing an evo to replace a card in a team there wasn't any evo panic and while there wasn't any of that and you had a couple of market rises there could be some more today so i'm still a little bit worried about the market which is why you still see me have like most of my coins, I still have some other cards here on my transfers for sure. Like I'm just relisting for lazies for the most part. A lot of that stuff is all my VVD golds. But I'm a little worried about the market today, which is why I didn't spend a ton of coins yesterday. Took the coins on the Viali. That was a tax loss there, but we're going to make it back on some of these other small flips that we have. So I'm not worried about it. But I'm still a little bit scared for the market. And this is why all right we had some leaks yesterday and we have some more price movements and stuff to talk about with the market because of this and evolution is added to come to ultimate team soon the name is keep up max overall 85 max pace 85 shooting 65 stamina 75 aggression 88 no playstyle pluses and the players gain jockey playstyle plus which is a very good one jockey is a very very obviously when you're defending jockeying is insane and especially with the playstyle plus this is a really, really good evolution that's going to add a really meta playstyle to probably a defender or at least a defensive midfielder that you would want to put this on. And the interesting thing with this is people, after seeing this tweet, are going out and investing. If you wondered why Saliba is on the popular page of Footbin all of yesterday, he went from 2,000 coins, 2,700, all the way to 9K. Almost extinct, not quite, but almost extinct because he fits that evolution. Also, if you saw Rafael Varane, I got caught up in a little bit of this um, unknowingly because of this leak, but Rafael Varane, his inform was dying yesterday because people thought he was going to be in the evolution. This version of Varane is up right now. Guys, he does not fit the Evo. If you're investing in this card, I would probably sell it in the hype because he does not fit this Evo. He has a play style plus already with the Anticipate Plus, and that was one, unless it ends up coming out and it does not have a max play style plus as a requirement, Varane will not fit this because his gold card already has that so be very very careful there with that one um but this evo along with a striker evo that's been leaked as well if you just notice like the front page of the most popular players in footman right now are all cards that are like extinct for evolutions right evos have fully taken over this game adiemi is a perfect example of that as well um that striker evolution that is leaked either that one or this keep up evolution i think is going to drop today on this game but as you can tell with Adiemi, he has gone from yesterday being 1,500 coins, he went to 6,300, and right now he's 6,800 coins. His price is flying. Whatever that striker Evo is, whatever Evo he fits, I don't think it's this one yet because max pace 85. There's another leak for another Evo out there somewhere, and it must not have a pace like requirement on it because bro has 96 pace. So if he's got 96 pace and he can fit in this, then a lot of other cards are going to fit in this as well. Maybe it's like a big shooting, passing, or shooting and dribbling boost. Maybe dribbling and passing, who knows? We'll have to see. But there is definitely going to be an evolution, I think, that comes today, whether it is this one or whether it is the striker one. And once again, that could create some more panic, some more selling on the market. So just be careful is all that I would say. Watch the cards that fluctuate. Maybe take some cash, which is probably what I'll do on the McManaman and the King that I have here. Um, maybe the Barella as well. I've just been kind of lazy listing that one. Probably going to take the cash on some of those quick flips because one of those Evos could be insane once again. And every single Evo they've dropped has been insane. When will the trend stop? Will they ever drop an Evo that's not that ex exciting and insane that people actually will not want to spend a lot of coins on or want to go ahead and do? I don't know. We will have to see. 
but I would expect that as a part of content today. Now, more content today as well. We mentioned it in the intro, but besides the Evos, we do have another player SBC, right? According to our list that we're gonna keep looking at, we're almost halfway through this if you're annoyed by this graphic already, kind of like I am. We are almost halfway through. Today is Wednesday, December 27th. We are getting ourselves a Bobby Moore SBC. This could be big. This could be big for a center back card, or I'm kind of hoping that EA don't do this, but maybe they change up his position like they've been doing with a lot of the other icons for winter wild cards in this game. He is a 70 paced icon card with 92 defense and the, the uh, anticipate plus play style, three star weak foot, and of course, a legend of the game. You know, I think of a Bobby Moore center back card, I think of this one. A lot of people used this card last year in FIBA 23 because he got the massive pace boost. Got a massive passing boost as well drilling boost the defense stayed the same right like 92 defense from this card he's got 92 defense in his card this year if they give him a good passing dribbling boost probably boost his weak foot the four star as well it'd be nice he's got other good play styles like long ball pass jockey block press proven and of course the anticipate plus so i'm hoping that today's card is also a center back with some pace with the english links that would be pretty cool but will ea go out of their way to do something different and to you know like they've been doing with a lot of the icons do something crazy with it and give him like maybe center defensive mid position or who knows right a lot of the icons you can see almost like half the team like almost half the team of these icons that have been released it's probably easier to look here in the game you know you've got van nisselroy goalkeeper rush center mid um you've got fernando torres with the five star skills and a completely different play style plus butraguenio left wing stoichkov center attacking mid right a lot of these guys we're not going to be able to get so will ea put another position change the icon in sbcs we'll see that's my number one question with that bobby Moore today i kind of hope they keep him the same as i've already mentioned but if whatever position he is, if he looks cracked, if he's a good SBC, there could be some further panic there on the market, especially if it's a center back. I really feel like if he is a center back, that could end up hurting some prices. Um, I'm not saying, I'm not telling you to not go invest or to buy any center backs. I have center backs, right? I've got the Ledley King and I, I did have some Timbers on my transfer list, uh, but a lot of people were investing in this Varane because he's going out of packs today. I won't say Maximin going out of packs. People are investing in those. Um, so, be careful, especially with the center backs today, uh, but we'll see what the position is when they drop the SBC for the big man, Mr. Bobby Moore, and see what it looks like. And then, of course, we get into team of the week today as well, but there's no real leaks about that unless I've completely missed them. I don't think I've seen a leak yet about the next upcoming team of the week, um, but I do expect to see another one of those, of course, as we do every single Wednesday. EA loves to do lightning rounds for new team of the week. Also, side note, yesterday they dropped uh, some extra 10 and 30 coin packs. It was uh, kind of crazy seeing how many that we were able to open yesterday, which I'm not complaining about for sure, but it was just different. I like that from EA. GG's, appreciate that. And then of course, they did run plenty of lightning rounds yesterday. The 84 tens come back almost every single day. The 81 time, 100 untradeable. Um, they're everywhere, man. It's it's just the market is one wild place right now. I'm sticking to quick flips. I'm not even trading a ton. Like I'm more involved in the evolutions and the gameplay, I feel like, than I am on the market. Um, and the market just is just a kind of a scary place, right? But at the same time, there's been good ways to make coins. Now, one thing I want to look at as well is a leak that goes past today, guys. And if you wondered why Neymar was everywhere on Footbin yesterday for a while, this is the tweet. And I want to explain it to you, right? FIFA Trading Romania, who's been spot on with a lot of leaks recently, tweeted out this. This is kind of like a hidden mystery tweet that you're supposed to um, decipher. He does these a lot. He's got the cold emoji, the fire emoji, the Brazil emoji, and the dolphin emoji. And if you deduce this correctly, you maybe remember there was a card design that was added to code a couple weeks ago. That was the fire and the ice promo, right? We've had that in the code for a while now. We've got a Brazilian flag. And we know this is a big player because there's a lot of bomb emojis here, right? It's like a news bomb, right? You could say. And then you've got a dolphin. And so this guy writes up something here that he thinks it has to do with Pele because Dolphinho. Uh, and then he says no. And then another guy who leaks a lot is ASY for Trader. And he responds with a Neymar gif. And FIFA Trading Romania responds with an emoji that means pretty positively that we are getting a either fire or ice Neymar. This is a leak here, fire or ice Neymar, or a flashback. I saw some people talking about a flashback, but to me, the ice and the fire in this tweet means that the fire and ice could be 
for the upcoming promo version of Neymar. So if you wondered why Neymar was on the front page of Footman yesterday, like a lot of other gold cards have been recently because of Evos, Neymar is not being evolved. <laughs> I doubt you'll be able to evolve Neymar until at least after like team of the year. But his card's been fodder for a minute now. So hey, who knows? Imagine an Evo Neymar, by the way. The day that Neymar can fit into an Evo, that would be crazy. All right, I'm just looking at his card thinking 86 pace, 83 shooting, 85 passing. We're not that far off if they don't require dribbling, or I guess a playstyle plus might hurt his card as well. And 89 rated. It might be until after like foot birthday before you can evolve Neymar. But anyways, there's going to be a special version of Neymar coming, whether it's fire rights or a flashback, we'll have to see. But that's why his price is up. He was like 37k. Now he's 43,000 coins. Guys, I don't know what this promo is on uh, what's going to happen on Friday. It seems like it's going to be another winter uh, week of winter wild cards. We still do have some more winter wild cards players that have been leaked that have not been dropped yet so if there is um more leaks of other winter wildcard players maybe there's going to be a team three i don't know it's just very confusing with how long these cards are in packs right the the team one of winter wild cards is in packs until friday the team two is in packs until next friday and then of course the winter best of is in packs um only until like the next like monday or tuesday or something so it's really confusing we'll have to see i hope it's not everything just dissolves from packs from right now and this is all that we're going to get in packs i hope there's at least something that comes this friday as well because if there's not then uh, that might mean really good things for the market but probably won't mean as great of things for content on this game but that's going to be the video for today guys um make sure you get your rivals games in it's a big day for that because you have rewards tomorrow and um keep working on those evos i'm really working hard right at the moment to try to get my Ragoni evolved. I just finished the Trey Cartista time. I feel like Tiki Taka playstyle is maybe a little bit underrated. This card feels completely different with the Tiki Taka Plus. He has 75 rated gold card. And he's got 79 passing, but with that playstyle plus, really changes a lot for him. So I'm super excited to get this card to five star skills, play some games with him, and then I gotta put him through Budding Starlet still and the midfield dynasty, and he's going to come out of five star, five star absolute beast so keep an eye on evolutions once again today there might be more wednesdays in the early stages of the game were very common days for evolution so we will see what happens there and of course you got your refreshes every single day 83 times tens and all that good stuff so be on the lookout for all of that but i think it's going to be, be the video for today guys i hope they drop a good bobby more today too you and me both all right Drop by the stream today. That link is down below in the description. If you want to check out a video of us opening those year interview player picks and talking about that yesterday live on stream, I will link that right above here on the second channel. But if you enjoyed today's video, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. Name for the account. See you guys in the stream today. Peace. Out.